Hello. In this video, I explain the basic principles of programming Swiss slaves machines. So we can see the Swiss slave machine on our screen. Uh, you can find it in our standard package. Uh, it has a main spindle, movable collet of main spindle that moves the part along the axis, counter spindle, collet of counter spindle, tools to work with the main spindle or counter spindle, tools to work with a counter spindle. Okay, that's all. And this machine has two channels, channel to control to work with a main and another channel to control with a counter spindle. I would like to machine this part. For example, uh, we can easy uh, we can easy edit this part. Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, so, because our machine have two instances of part installed at the same time, at the first we have to create two parts. The first part is installed in the main spindle, uh, and the second part uh, is installed in the counter spindle. And let's define the let's define the correct. Uh, position of the um, so let's for example this one uh, so this the way how the part is fixed in the counter spindle so let's begin the mach program the machining in the main part uh, because the workpiece of our part is a long bar that, that uh, used to create a lot of parts and uh, the first operation must be bar feeding this operation move the take the bar from the main spindle and uh, this operation has several parameters this bar overhang parameter you can read this is the axial distance between the spindle base point and the two tip point let's input 100 and uh, retract distance is okay and the touch position let's check if i move it you can see this is the position the the our limit tool Cutoff tool is used as limit tool. Uh, is contact with the contact with the part. Okay, that's all. If I calculate the tool pass and try to simulate, we can see that the part is staying in the same place, but the call it is movable. Call it move back. And one more thing, we do not to generate the approach because in the beginning of program, in the beginning of program, uh, the tool is already located in this position. It stay here after the cut off of the previous part. Okay, let's create the next, uh, for example, Adira, I think. Duration. Let me change this out. This one, for example, in this position, and that's so. After that, I would like to create part of operation, uh, another side, and for this part of operation, uh, I do not need to return to the top level because it is the last operation of the first channel and uh, we do not need to return top to the top and uh, let me disable the return macro to disabled let's calculate the tool pass so okay so the simulation is uh, move and stay in the bottom okay after that, after that, I need to create the takeover operation. Uh, 
take cover operation to move our part from the main to counter spindle. Great, move part, take cover. So the how the part is fixed is in the counter spindle. We already define it in the second part, and I need to define the approaches because it is not adapted for the lathe spindles for, for the lathe machines i do not input it negative values but it's easy and i forget to delete the to delete the chips after part of okay and uh, the next we can see uh, let me calculate. So in the counter spindle, we can see the correct workpiece. And let's program the machining in the counter spindle. Let's define the lead idea, I think. Let me set example machine under axis and define the correct this one. This one and okay, it will be outer roughing, and uh, the next I would like to make drilling the whole machining and properties of max. Let me set forty five, for example, and minus two. Let's calculate. Okay, let's go to the simulation and check in the single channel mode what we already have. Uh, bar feeding, rathing in the main spindle. It's the single channel mode. Cut off, move bar, rathing here and drilling. That's all. Uh, I forget to say one more thing. When we make takeover operation, we need to synchronize the takeover with the part of. There is the parameters I need on the takeover to say synchronize with and set that it must be synchronized with the part of operation. What it gives if I go to simulation and switch off, switch on the multi-channel mode, we will see the synchronization points that were inserted automatically and the uh, operation were reordered automatically for the Swiss slaves. So right now I can run the simulation in the multi-channel mode. We can see two parts, correct work is here, here, and uh, let's play so simultaneous machining main and counter spindle let's set the speed drilling so the main spindle waiting until we finish with drilling so cutting and that's all that's all i wanted to demonstrate to you about swiss lathe machining thank you very much for your attention